Hey guys, Bob here from Do It Yourself Forestry. Today we're going to briefly go over what a dot tally is. This is a way to, when you're out cruising or taking some sort of inventory of your land, just a way to keep track of species or size of species or, or different ways to apply this technique. But it's very simple, very basic, and something we use a lot of, and it's real helpful. So let's say you want to know how many oak trees, maple trees, and white pine trees you have on your land. Now normally you think, well, we'll just do this. So I got two oaks, one, two, three, four, five maple, and say four, three white pine. That works, but that gets that could get real messy if you have a big piece of property or a lot. Say you got 20, 30 oak trees that you're counting, which is very possible. Um, so I'm going to show you an easier way that uses less space and is a lot more efficient, especially when it comes time to total up everything. Let's get rid of these. So let's say you get to your oak tree. And you want to start counting how many oak trees you have in your plot. First thing, so you get to your, you get to your first oak, you make one dot. That's one tree. You get tree number two. It's two dots. Okay, tree three, three dots, tree four, four dots. So now we got four trees there. We ex we're gonna expand on this more. Say you got a total, we're gonna say you got a total of 10 oak trees in this area. So here's your four. Once you get the square, you go, you start drawing lines in between the dots. So here's your fourth oak tree. Well, we got five oak trees, six oak trees, seven oak trees, eight oak trees. So now that fully drawn out square represents eight different trees. I can take it. There's two more you can add to it to make it even better. You go diagonally. So here's nine oak trees. Here's ten oak trees. So that little thing equates to ten trees. It just saves a lot of space on paper. It, instead of having all the, the dashes and the slashes, it, it's just a lot more convenient and easier to read when it comes at the end when you want to count everything up. Now let's say you had more than 10 oak trees. You do some blocks of 10. So if you had more than 10 oak trees, say you had 12. So here's your first 10. And you simply just go, okay, one, two. That's two oak trees. There's two more oak trees, so it's a total of 10 oak trees per that plot. Now let's say we go to the next plot. And then on that one you have five oak trees. So you go one, two, three, four, five. That's five. When you really get into the habit of doing this and start doing this a lot, you you can just look at that and know how many trees. You don't even have to go back and count. I know it's four. You got your four dots plus a line. That's five. This would be six. That'd be seven, eight, nine, ten. And you just do that in blocks of 10. So let's say the next plot, you got, uh, let's go seven or eight oak trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight oak trees. Got 10 maple trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And five white pine. One, two, three, four, five. So eight, ten, and five. That's your tree count for the total, that total plot. It's, it's real simple. Um, let me erase all this quick and I'll show you just real blown up how to the, the squares in a lot bigger shape. So again, you start, doesn't matter what, where you start, you can start in the upper right hand, upper left hand, lower left, lower right, it, it doesn't matter. It's the sequence, it's the sequence that counts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, so you got 20 trees on a plot. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, it's not perfect. It's not grandiose. It's it's not going to be an art museum, but it's 
effective because I know when I see that square with that X in it, that's 10. So I can just look at this right away and go, 20 trees, end of story. Um, as I can say, this really, it may look a little weird now because not, it's not an action, we're not really using it as we go, but we will. But you have to understand what that is so I can start explaining more things to you. It's really easy. Just start writing this down on paper and start counting out your dots and lines and your slashes. And this will make a lot more sense. It's real, once you use it a few times, it's real intuitive and it's real effective. So hope that helped and have a good one. Thanks.